the excuse you've been waiting for to eat all the chocolate that you want in the world. Here is my ode to dark chocolate. Hey everyone, Lacey Green here for DNews. Anyone who knows me knows that the way to my heart is dark chocolate. Most of us know that chocolate is sacred, but the problem is most people eat milk chocolate. Milk chocolate is evil. It cannot be compared to dark chocolate. It has a lot more sugar and a lot less actual cocoa, whereas dark chocolate is like Walter White's blue meth of the chocolate world. But unlike meth, you should totally eat dark chocolate for so many reasons, my friend. So many delicious reasons. A new study coming out of Italy has found that dark chocolate can significantly improve our ability to walk, particularly for older people who have peripheral artery disease. This is a disease that slows down your blood flow, which is not good. Two hours after eating 85% dark chocolate, the participants were able to walk 11% further and 15% longer than their milk chocolate eating counterparts. Previous studies have found that the flavonoids in dark chocolate stimulate the lining of your arteries to produce nitric oxide. Nitric oxide relaxes the arteries and therefore slightly improves blood flow and slightly lowers blood pressure. But that's not the only reason dark chocolate is all kinds of good for your heart. Scientists have found over and over that cocoa can drastically reduce the risk of heart disease. In a 15-year study of elderly men, a study in the Archives of Internal Medicine found that regular cocoa consumption was connected to a 50% drop in heart disease. 50%! And another study published in Clinical Nutrition saw a 32% drop in calcified plaque in the arteries when participants ate dark chocolate twice a week. Another study in that journal found a 57% drop in heart disease when dark chocolate was consumed at least five times a week. So basically, with my current chocolate habit, I am on the fast track to immortality, you guys. Dark chocolate has also been found to raise good cholesterol and lower bad cholesterol, improve cognitive function by increasing blood flow to the brain, and reduce sun damage by increasing blood flow to your skin. So as much as I wish this means you should eat dark chocolate for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, moderation is still key. Dark chocolate is loaded with antioxidants like flavonoids, polyphenols, and catechins, as well as lots of fiber, iron, and magnesium, but it still has sugar, and it can rack up the calories if you eat too much of it. So when you're getting your fix, look for good quality organic dark chocolate that's 70% cocoa or above, that's the good stuff, or basically the highest that you can tolerate. I found that my palate has slowly adjusted to the bitterness, and by eating less sugar in general, the really dark stuff, around 85%, tastes more sweet than it used to. Keep calm and dark chocolate on, my friends. And by the way, if you haven't done it yet, check out our new sister show, Test Tube. It covers world events and other trending topics. So hit the subscribe button now and get the show in your inbox the same way you're getting D-News. I'll see you next time.